Real science, they'll deal in Newtons. Pub science, we deal in two inch new. Hi, it's Terry from Abasco again. And we're gonna talk about a few things we need to know and you need to know when it comes time to replace your gas strut or you need a strut for that project that you're building. At Avesco, we supply a lot of gas struts and they can range from anything from a ute lid, toolbox, a canopy, even the odd floor dungeon lid. The boys on the floor are always asked, what kind of gas strut do I need for a pull down ladder? Before we get to that, there are a couple of reasons why you'll need to replace your gas strut. There'll be loss of pressure. It could be damage to the gas strut, or you've added extra weight to the lid. So there's a few things that we'll need to know when you're in the shop and you're looking to replace your gas strut, or you need a new strut for your project. What we'll need to know is, what are you holding up? So how heavy is the lid? And how long is the drop in the lid? Once we know those, we can get into some real science or we can work it out with pub science, which is our preferred version. And that's a third, two third rule. So that's a third in from the hinge is your mounting point, two thirds of the length of the lid is your length of gas strut. Thanks for watching today and I hope you got something out of this. If you need any more information about our gas strut range, just click on the website, go to the search bar, type in gas strut and it'll bring up a full range of our sizes and pressures. If you want to know a bit more information on how to fit, just click on the other stuff and there's a principal detailed information sheet. Also, other videos on how to fit.